all right, my adorable kids that I missed and loved so, 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 so much and can literally not wait to have you here. Give you lots and lots and lots of hugs and hearing all your amazing stories. I cannot wait to have you here. And today, my adorable ones, we're going to talk about being gentle. This is very good to talk about. A lot of you have younger siblings, a lot of you have pets, and even with just each other, with other kids your own age, with your parents, with your grandparents, with other people, we got to learn to be gentle. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 2.24, it says, Be gentle unto all men. So there are times when we can be loud and playful and be all excited, but then there are other times when we must be gentle. When we talk to or play with someone who is smaller than we are, like I said, your maybe a younger sibling, a younger cousin, even younger friends, we should always be careful that our actions and words are gentle so that we don't frighten or injure them. There are also times that we need to be gentle at school. When we get in line, for example, you gotta be gentle so you don't hurt your friends that are in front of you or your friends that are behind you. Remember that we do not push or shove to be at the front of the line or to be next to, our, to a friend. Everybody's important, everybody's special. We are all friends, so we stay in our place in line, nice and gentle. Our girls with princess hands, our boys with soldier hands, everybody's standing nice and tall, nice and straight, being gentle so we don't hurt anybody. So we don't hurt anybody physically, so we don't hurt their bodies, and so we don't hurt their feelings either. When we play together, outside especially, on the playground, on the slide, on the swings, on the merry-go-round, we need to be gentle. That's why Mrs. Belucci and I are always telling you, you gotta wait until the swing stops before you get off. You gotta wait till your friend is all the way down and off the slide before you can go down. We gotta wait till the merry-go-round stops spinning before you can get on and off. And you gotta always remember to be gentle and careful with your friends. Um, who can think of an example of another time that you need to be gentle? Perfect, when we're going to the bathroom, yes, we need to walk, we're not running, we're not skipping, so we don't hurt our friends. Very good, what else? Going up and down stairs if you're in line, yes, so you don't trip and fall and you don't hurt anybody, very good. What else? Yes, during work, you gotta be gentle, being careful with your own body, making sure you're staying in your own space, not being too loud so our friends can also work. Very good, kiddos. Those are awesome, very good examples of how you can be gentle at school. Now, as I said, we are not just gentle at school and not just with our friends, but we also gotta be gentle at home and we gotta be gentle with our pets. A lot of you have pets. Some of you have dogs, some of you have cats, some of you have hamsters, some of you have um, guinea pigs, some of you have fish, but lots and lots of you have animals. You have pets at home and you need to treat our pets gently as well. God created the animals for us to enjoy. Some of the animals that God created make wonderful pets. Like we just said, dogs are wonderful pets and kitty cats and even rabbits. Some people have rabbits for pets, birds, fish, guinea pigs, hamsters, um, turtles. We have some friends that have turtles for pets. So some of these animals are amazing pets. And if you have a pet, we got to always remember to be gentle with it, to hold it carefully, to take care of it. Some of you might be responsible for feeding it, making sure your pets are being fed normally. So we gotta remember to always be gentle with our pets so we don't hurt them and we don't frighten them. And same thing with our friends, with the younger siblings, with our parents, with our grandparents. We always gotta remember to use gentle hands, to use a gentle voice so we are always pleasant and loving and never frightening. Or, um, or hurtful. We don't want to be hurtful to anybody. So 
we always got to remember to follow what the Bible says in 2 Timothy 2, 24, and be gentle unto all men. And we can start practicing that and learning that even though we are still young so that you can continue growing and still be gentle even when you're a grown up. All right, so let's make sure that we practice that this week. Practice it at home, practice it with your siblings. I wanna hear your parents telling me how gentle and kind you all are. Love you, kiddos.